a defend our democracy delegation has handed a memorandum to the Minister of Justice, that's Ronald Lamula, in Pretoria today. They're campaigning for the constitution to be adhered to, regardless of who is in power. The campaign has raised major concerns about former President Jacob Zuma's refusal to appear before the state capture inquiry. On Monday evening, its members formed a human chain outside the constitutional court in Johannesburg. The issue is very simple, basically, that we have come in this country from a period where people in government decided to work outside the law and the constitution, because if you get corrupted or you, you use state resources for purposes it is not meant for, which has come out in the uh, commissions that have been set up, it's clear that people acted as government officials, politicians, outside the constitution and the law. So it's not just about uh, deputy president, former deputy president, defying the constitutional court ruling, but is that that practice and tendency has been happening over the years. And we are of the view that the time has come. As the people of South Africa, and you've heard us saying that the people are the last line of defense when everything fails, whether it's within parties or within parliament or in government, the people who put people in government, in parliament, are the last line of defense. And so the mobilization it's about getting the people of South Africa to say, we're not going to watch from outside and see our country destroyed. The latest, of course, concern was the risk of um, lawlessness, that once you defy a constitutional court and attack judges and courts, that's really a last line within government to defend people. Justice Minister Ronald Lamula says the constitution must be protected and defended by all South Africans. He was responding to the defense of a democracy delegation. Lamula says the judiciary must be allowed to do its job without fear or favor. that we hear you out about the issues that you are raising in the memo, particularly as it relates to the constitution of this country, uh, because the constitution is the supreme law of the land. And we are celebrating 25 years of the Constitution. It has to continue to be protected and be defended by the government, by the state, and by all people of society and the people of South Africa as a whole. And as a department, we work with the various civil societies in advancement of the Constitution, in defense of the Constitution, on the various um, rights that are enshrined in the Constitution. Hence, um, it is important that the Constitution continue as a living document to be protected. And um, we have always said that we view that the Constitution is a sacrosanct um, and the rule of law is sacrosanct component of our democracy, which we all have to respect and adhere to. Because any failure to adhere to the prescripts of the Constitution and the rule of law may lead to a degeneration into anarchy. And I think all of us as South African citizens, we have to ensure that either the judiciary is allowed to do its job without any fear or favor, with the independency that is expected, and also the National Prosecuting Authority, which is also expected in terms of the Constitution to do their job without any fear, favor, or prejudice to, to anyone. It's a, it's, a, it's a call that the President has also made, and the President has also said that he will never interfere with the work of the NPA to say they must uh, prosecute with this one or not prosecute that one. They must do so in accordance with the law.